Sully is directed by Clint Eastwood and stars the man you never want to travel with, Tom Hanks. This is the story of Captain Chelsea Sully Sullenberger, who in 2009 landed a U.S. Airways flight on the Hudson River, which was later deemed the miracle on the Hudson. It was an emergency water landing that has never been performed ever. He saved the lives of 155 people in New York City. This movie follows that event as well as the investigation that followed. Now the biggest draw for me to see this movie was definitely Tom Hanks. Uh, the man is a national treasure. He does absolutely amazing work. Uh, but he kind of was a little bit subdued in this particular film. I don't know if that was necessarily because that's how the real Captain Sully Sullenberger is in real life. Or if he kind of just phoned in his performance. But either way, the biggest draw for me seeing this movie was Tom Hanks. The only other character that I felt was really worth watching in this entire film, other than the main character being Sully, was Aaron Eckhart as the co-pilot Jeff Skiles. He had a bit more charm and charisma, a little bit more animation to him than Sully had. Again, I don't know how this compares to the real life versions of Skiles and Sullenberger, but either way, he was Aaron Eckhart did a lot better job he drew my attention a lot more, even more than Sully in some scenes. So I guess Aaron Eckhart sort of stole the show in that respect, but I still think Tom Hanks did a great job. One thing that did irritate me about this film, however, which I guess relates to the real life event, it doesn't necessarily have to do with the film itself, was the amount of skepticism and criticism and overall like negativity and just rudeness of people towards Sully and this massive investigation that happened about this water landing. I mean, the guy landed a plane on the Hudson River, saving 155 people. But I guess also on the other side, I understand where the insurance and the airway, the FAA were coming from and investigating this water landing. I totally get that. But it's so gratifying when Sully sticks to his guns in this movie, saying, I did this for this reason. And then uh, the FAA and all the insurance people are looking into it and do all these simulations, and uh, all the simulations keep showing that he could have made it back to LaGuardia, or back to JFK, or to another airport, and basically he just landed the plane in the Hudson instead, because he felt that the airplane wouldn't be able to make it. Now, when the, all these simulations show that he could make it, and then Sully kind of gets this gratifying moment where he tells him about the human error, and it took him a couple seconds to decide what to do, because all these lives were at stake, and then once they ran that test, they realized there was no way that they were going to make it and that there would have been a crash no matter what. So landing on the Hudson was the right thing to do. It was so gratifying and I wish they would have been like, Sully would have stuck it in their face a little bit because they were so hard on him. But in a great way, he was a lot better man for not sticking in their face. But it's just so gratifying to see him be right. Also, I'm sorry if you feel like I spoiled that whole thing for you. But this was based on real events. You could Google it easily before you go see the movie. Or if you even never see the movie. But it's based on true events. So I mean, just Google it. Probably the biggest negative for this entire film for me, though, although I did like the film, was the fact that it had no chronological order whatsoever. It would bounce around between after the event, during the event, before the event with Sully's life and learning how to fly and all this other stuff. I just felt like it had no real continuity. It just didn't make for that great of a movie. It would have been more interesting to do it chronologically. It's like watching Titanic out of order. It just doesn't make sense. Even though it made sense when they went to go see the ship and then the girl remembered. But in this context, it would have been better to do it chronologically than to jump around Sully's life. The grade I'm going to give Sully is a B-. minus. Tom Hanks kind of phoned it in on this one. I don't know, if, again, if it was due to how Sully really is in real life or if he just sort of skated by and just phoned it in. Um, but otherwise, the movie was actually pretty good. I didn't like the jumping around in time, but I did like how it showed the events of the film. Also, I liked the investigation portion. I felt like that was really important to the overall story because it really showed Sully was a hero. The film more deals with Sully and how he lives his life with his newfound fame and recognition. It more deals with his internal struggles, if he did the right thing, if he didn't do the right thing. All throughout this investigation, I think that was the most interesting thing about it. And I think that was the main point of the film, even though it was about this airplane landing on the Hudson River. I definitely think it's worth watching, but you'll probably only watch it once. It really doesn't have a whole lot of replay value. I mean, movies for about historical events, oftentimes for me, 
I don't need to watch a thousand times because it's a historical event. I know it happened. But maybe for you, you might like it. I definitely think it's worth watching at least one time though. So guys, that's my review for Sully. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like down in the section below as well as hit that big subscribe button so you can see more videos from me including my previous reviews like my Morgan review that I just posted not that long ago, my review for Kubo and the Two Strings, as well as my Fast and Furious in-depth analysis. Be sure to check those out as well. Also, stay tuned. I've got a ton more videos coming up. I just got to get to watching stuff and be able to do some reviews for you guys. So be on the lookout for a whole bunch of new stuff coming out. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.